Every year, the top automobile manufacturers introduce new makes and models to the market. As a result, automotive technology continues to become more complex and employment opportunities for qualified automotive technicians are constantly growing. The Automotive Technology Program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College trains students to inspect, maintain, and repair cars and light trucks by providing hands-on experience in virtually all areas of the automobile. The program is taught at the Floyd and Walker County campuses of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Both campuses have fully equipped shops that prepare students to succeed in today's automotive industry. An automotive technology program is a program basically designed to train our students to be able to work on today's modern vehicles to do light maintenance repair as well as uh, heavy in-depth repair, transmissions, engine repair, as well as brakes, ABS, stability controls, air conditioning systems, the whole, the whole car from bumper to bumper. Troy Pico is the program director for the Automotive Technology Program at the Walker County campus of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Troy was named the Technical College System of Georgia Instructor of the Year for 2013. Oh, well, getting selected and instructed a year for the state of Georgia was just a tremendous honor. Um, realizing that the colleges see the need for skilled individuals in the automotive field and they feel that it's an important part of the education system by selecting an automotive instructor. I mean, it's just a great honor, especially with the all the great um, other educators we have in the state system. Automotive technology involves not only mechanical procedures and repairs, it also requires proficiency in advanced technology and computerized equipment to test vehicles, diagnose problems, and resolve those problems with state-of-the-art equipment. At the Floyd County campus, we have a, a dynamometer. The dynamometer allows us to uh, run performance tests on vehicles. We can check horsepower and torque. It also allows us to diagnose vehicles in, in the simulated condition as if they were driving down the road. For instance, we could uh, simulate a problem at 55, 65 miles an hour while having diagnostic equipment attached. And students can view that in a way that you cannot see in the real world. A wide variety of students of all ages take part in the program. Upon graduating, students may seek employment specializing in one area of automotive technology or may find work that requires knowledge and experience in all areas of automobile repair. It's a really good program to go into. You learn a lot and it's, it's hands-on, so you get actually get to be at the car and be doing stuff on it. You don't, you're not sitting in the classroom all the time and just being told what you're supposed to do. You actually get to go out to the cars and learn what you're supposed to do. The average annual salary for an automotive service technician and mechanic is $36,610 a year, according to the Department of Labor. Uh, we have a lot of um, partners that are dealerships, independent repair shops, part stores, even a tractor manufacturer that works closely with us. Um, many of those, the managers and owners of these companies serve on our advisory committee. Uh, they're very interested in, in the type of training we do. They're very interested in our students and the process. Um, when we have any accreditations or curriculum reviews, they're very interested in any changes that we make. Graduates of the program can go to work at car dealerships, independent automotive shops, service centers, fleet maintenance departments, and even go into business for themselves and open their own automotive shop. I always had a passion for cars since I was a little kid. I've had some, uh, I have the opportunity to work with uh, different vehicles, including, you know, tractors, and you get all kinds of things here. And I think that's pretty neat, you know, you never know what to expect, because anything can rolling here and the things that interest me the most is the diagnosis part of it uh, really going through the details and reading the diagrams before you even get to it uh, to get a better understanding once a student completes the program they are prepared to take the certification exam for the u.s national institute for automotive service excellence mechanics that are ase certified generally receive a higher salary and their careers advance faster when our students are done with the program they'll be prepared to take the ase exam and shouldn't have any problem placing highly on the exam and doing well i've had several students that leave the program that are ase master certified when they leave the program from the one year work experience and then the one year college, it allows them to get the certification as well as being able to pass the exam. As automotive technology continues to become more sophisticated, many employers prefer automotive service technicians and mechanics that have completed a formal training program at a post-secondary institution. Um, I really love it because uh, the one thing I love about it is you can never stop learning new things. 
you know, automotive technology is always going to come out with new technology. You can never stop learning. To find out more about GNTC's automotive technology program, visit our website or give us a call for more information.